will set off a mystic ice blast to save humanity so they gotta move fast this brave team will enter the dragon land fears no option they got to get the fire rock the superheroes are ready for battle using the special powers to get Save the whole planet The time has begun To save the world From destruction For superheroes are ready for the fight United they stand together Dynamite Nothing will ever stop them And the Dino Bros Return to the past world Up there! Up there! What's that? Oh. Hey, look, the blue dragon's flying away from town. Oh. 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 My gosh. After a blue dragon appeared in the skies of Rocket Town, the scientific community is in an uproar with many members remaining skeptical. Paleontologist James Carter's long-held belief in dragons is gaining significant support. <laughs> it was bright blue and, like, gigantic! It looked to me like he was searching for something or someone. Testimony from eyewitnesses of the so-called blue dragon. True, false. All this reporter knows for sure is that sales of James Carter's latest book have sure picked up. In the book, the so-called paleontologist describes his belief in a species of scientifically advanced reptiles, dragons, which begs the question, are dragons among us? Hey, what's your problem, buddy? Sorry, I apologize. You're, you're Gabriel Carter's grandson, right? Huh? Yeah, but I don't really have time to chat right now, sir. Did you want something? Jurassic Eye. Huh? Is that it? It's vital that you don't forget. Huh? Jurassic Eye. Hey, Baldy, I thought I told you to go away. <laughs> don't forget it! Huh? <gasps> Before we jump to Dragon, shouldn't we consider remote-controlled drones from some B-movie? Or a publicity stunt to drum up book sales? Could you at least let me say something before you start calling me a liar? Nobody came here to listen to you. We're here for Professor Carter. Why? Was the Elvis Bigfoot Love Baby lecture sold out? Or was that topic too credible for you? Tell me, Professor, is your next book going to be about Santa Claus? I'm not here to convince anyone of anything, but I would point out that your brand of glib skepticism can sometimes be nothing more than a blanket that a child throws over his head because he's scared of the boogeyman. But next time I see him, I'll tell Santa to send you a nightlight so you can face reality. <laughs> Professor! Score one for our side. <laughs> Yeah, way to go, James! Now that school's out, we've got to figure out what crazy awesome stuff we're going to do all summer. Hey, I think we should camp, because camping can be mountains of fun. Sounds all right. Score one point for the big head. Camping's nice. Well, Tom, I'm all for going camping, guys. Sounds like a really nice time. Tom, come here a minute, please. Thank you. I'd like to introduce you to Professor Paul Stroker, a world-renowned cryptozoologist. Hi there. Nice to meet you. I was just talking to your father about a proposal that involves you as well. This is my son, Will. Hello. Hello, Will. So what is the proposal? Professor Stroker asked if I would be interested in joining his expedition. The blue dragon that's been making so many headlines has just been sighted in an area of the oh. rainforest south of the Northern Hemisphere. I'm planning a short expedition there to investigate the phenomenon, and it would be a real honor to have Professor James Carter lend his expertise to this investigation. And apparently there's enough room for you to come along. What do you say, Tom? Are huh? you kidding? I say that sounds pretty good to me. 
So we got it narrowed down to free climbing, snorkeling, or yak husbandry. Forget about all of that because I just found the best possible way for us Ugh. to spend our summer vacation. I'm sorry, but the answer is no, Tom. But you know we could be totally helpful to the whole expedition. You forget something important. Nobody knows that you guys are the Dinofros, and we can't let them find out. I promise you that John and Bob and Eric will not do anything wrong. I simply cannot assume responsibility for all four of you boys. And we're headed someplace dangerous. What exactly am I supposed to say to their parents? It's just that we really wanted to spend our vacation together. I know you did. I'm sorry it didn't work out. But maybe you can make friends with Stroker's son. Ah. <sighs> ah. <sighs> That's it then? Believe me, Dad's answer is very final. Going off to hunt dragons without the help of Dinofros? Might as well try to hit a fastball without a baseball bat. <laughs> like watching a 3D movie without the glasses. Like putting eggplant on a sandwich. Huh? Uh. Cause eggplant's, you know, disgusting. It ruins everything. I'm really sorry, guys, but I guess I'd better go finish packing for my trip. Huh? Uh. Aww. Uh. Uh. Hmm. Huh. Are you still thinking about your friends? Actually not. I was thinking about the weird guy who grabbed me outside your lecture and the thing he said. Jurassic Eye. Yeah, some crazy old nut job. But I think he knew Grandfather. He had some weird friend. Oh, oh. What's happening? Oh. Don't worry. Just a little turbulence. The plane's dancing with the clouds. You have got to be kidding me! What are you guys doing here? <laughs> we're just trying to get somewhere. And it turns out, huh, we're heading in the same direction. Mm -hmm. So you thought, what? Hey, let's break the law by jumping on that plane? Oh. Sorry to interrupt your reunion, but the pilot thinks we need to land at the next airport. Buckle your seatbelts. I'm really glad to see you, maniacs. Oh, you didn't think you could get away from us. We'll always be with you. What a dangerous and irresponsible stunt. Dad, please don't be too hard on them. Yes, please. This is about dragons. And all of our parents know we're here with you. You listen to me, John. I'm going to call your parents. And when this plane is fixed, you're all heading straight back to Rocket Town. Is that clear? Hmm? Professor Carter, my assistants have arrived. Bert, Helen, I present James Carter. It's an honor. You're the man of the moment. Professor. Nice to meet you. Now, if you'll just give me a minute to handle our stowaways, I'll be ready to go soon. Uh -huh. Huh? Professor, well, I apologize. But it would seem the plane has a transmission problem. I hate to say it, but it'll be several days before it's ready to fly again. Of course it will. So did you guys break the plane? Huh. Well, it would seem that your young friends won't be able to go anywhere at all. So we'll be taking part in the expedition? Yes, it looks like you will. Although I leave the final word in the matter to Professor Carter. All right, but I promise you boys, if you step one foot out of line, you'll wish you'd never been born. Yeah, all, all right! right. <laughs> This is Rio de Treventi. That way, we'll find Rio of Mirages, where the dragon was spotted. Huh. Oh, that's a pretty small dragon. Oh! That's a big dragon! Oh. 
Hey, that's not a random blue dragon. That's General Vlad. General, General Vlad? Vlad? Ah, there is our champion. Isn't he magnificent? Hey, isn't huh? that the other boat? They're caught in a whirlpool. Oh. Watch it. Oh. Oh. We're near the falls. Oh. We have to row. John, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Where's Tom? And the other guys? Hello? Hey, what? anybody? Guys. Where are you? Hey, boys, are you all right? Professor, we have to find Tom. Yeah, he could be. Huh? huh? Something tells me Tom decided to get right down to business. <laughs> New outfit, but I still recognized you, General Vlad. Just stand aside. You don't interest me. Maybe you shouldn't have messed with my friends! Ah! Don't say I didn't warn you! Ah. Ah. You started this, Dino Froze. Just like old times. Shall we dance? Ah! Wow. So, should we join the fun? Huh? Better huh? not right now. We can't run the risk of Stroker or his people seeing your transformation. Besides, huh? Tom's got it under control. You know, I've always liked watching you fly. So, you warmed up or what, Vlad? Looks like our Captain Tom might be a little out of practice. Are we going to help him, Professor? Hey, look up oh. at the sky. The Eclipse. Someday, but not today, Dino Froze. <sighs> hey, look! If I'm not mistaken, there's Vlad. Does this seem a little bit weird? Something is definitely happening here. Let's find Tom. Dad! Guys! So then, it's over. Yeah, you might be wrong about that. Huh? What's up with that? Hmm? Whoa. Oh. It wants us to go over oh. there. We should follow it. Over there! Whoa. What? What 
is it? It's technological. Ah! <gasps> well, whatever that thing might be, the spin rock led us to it. It's obvious that we're supposed to find it. I'm sure it's for the dino froze. Ah! You just have to be first, don't you? Why don't you try it, big head? Uh... Fine, why don't you go ahead? Okay, that very much burned. Careful. Remember, we don't know what this is. I'm supposed to do it, Dad. But... Uh, it didn't huh? burn at all. Tom, are you all right? More than all right. That looks... Awesome. Yeah, swanky new glove. But everybody seems to have forgotten. It's like our spin rocks don't matter anymore. What does it mean that we lost the spin rock like that? What does it mean that Tom's wearing a glove that tried to fry both me and Eric? All questions will be answered in time. Eric is right. We need an explanation. But at the moment, our priority is to find out what has become of Stroker and his people. I think that uh -huh. used to be Stroker's boat. Look, Professor, uh -huh. footprints. Well, looks like they're all right. Maybe, but we have got to find them. So is it a hyper-advanced watch? Yeah, something like that, but specifically for the Dinofros, a dino watch. A dino watch, it's flashing. Huh? Looks like somebody's huh? trying to communicate with you. Maybe so, but what are they trying to communicate? And who's doing the communicating? And why do they seem to want to talk to you, but not the rest of us? Guys, we really need to get going now. We really need to get to the mouth of Tributary, because according to the map, there's a human settlement there. In all likelihood, Stroker and his people will be headed there as well. We can reconnect there. We're moving away from the river, right, Dad? Yes, son. That's right. I thought we were looking for Carter and the others. We already know where they are. Yes, they're fine, and all together, and they're the ones trying to find us. I don't understand why aren't we trying to reach them? and reconnect. The dragon attack and the boat accident have necessitated some changes in our plans. But don't worry about it. The others are fine and we are headed in the right direction. Trust me, son. It's all okay. Well, it does. What do you bad. mean? Do you think it should be doing something different? What did you do to activate it, Tom? Uh, nothing. I think it's some kind of proximity alert. So the device is responding to something in our environment. Maybe it's telling us that the village is nearby. Hmm. Well, if there is, it's not the one on the map. Do you know where? That way, northwest. Come on, guys, this way. Can Dino Watch point out where a guy can get a sandwich in this jungle? We got here a bit too late to help them. I wish we'd been here. See these tracks? There were people here. And they left in a hurry. That's right. Look at the fruit. Uh, uh. Mm. Uh. Stop! They're friends! Huh? Uh huh? Huh? How is this possible, Kara? Uh, uh, <laughs> this was my home. Kara, it will be again. Hey, Melston. I was hoping never to see your ugly face again. I'm not joking. 
Huh? We came back to see what is left. I... I do not understand. How is it that you're here? Absurd as it may be, I think there's only one possible explanation for what's happened. We passed through the gate of time and went back two million years. Are you kidding? Tom, I don't know how, but we are in the past. Huh? Huh? Hmm. My lord, the Dino Froze are back. This news fills me with joy, Vlad. And how many times must I tell you, you alone may call me by my old name? Powerful Dracomon, I am now but one of your humble servants. I address you with the respect you deserve. I, Dracomon, succeed where the others have failed, but I do not forget when my name was Treek and my friends believed in me. The King of Dragons has no friends, and rightly so, my master. Then I will hear your report, General Vlad. How did your mission fare? As you ordered, I passed through the gate of time into the future. And what news have you brought back? Did you find what I asked? Unfortunately, I did not. But I learned Dino Froze has traveled through time. Dino Froze, you say? This will only make my revenge sweeter. Your return cannot fail to please. Here, everyone remembers your activities. We have fans? Awesome! What is fans? People who think you're huh? great. Ah, then yes, you have fans here. Often you have saved them from dragons, and your return gives them hope. Well, not everybody's a fan. His name is Geno, and he is a hothead. Would you like me to teach him a lesson? Enough joking around, Melston. Would you be kind enough to tell me where I might find the shaman? For some time we have not heard from him. One fine day, the shaman decided to vanish without even saying goodbye. All things happen in the way they must happen. It was a blow to the community. I understand that his choices might have been difficult to accept. At least, thanks to the magic of the shaman, I am still allowed to communicate verbally with all men and animals. That much of him remains. Melston doll, if we were still in Rocket Town, you'd be the star attraction in the circus. <laughs> I don't know about a circus, but I wish the shaman had taught me to speak to the flowers. Hello, little <laughs> weed. <laughs> <laughs> well, we wanted to go camping. Prehistoric camping, no less. I think it's crazy how we chased a dragon and only to end up back where we started out. Pretty crazy. Um. But what are we gonna do when the dragons come back and we can't become Dinofros because we don't have the spin rocks anymore, Tom? Um, can't say for sure, but I know it'll be different. Different how? We were fighting dinosaurs. Just like our favorite superheroes. But now we're something else. Huh? But the truth is, since we're stuck here, we better figure that out. Uh... We have to find a new way to fight the dragons. But first, I need some sleep. So have a good night, John. Good night. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? I miss my six donut breakfasts. Looks like it's fruit or nothing from now on, friend. Do you think this stuff tastes all right? There's one way to find out. I can't. They just look too much like my mortal enemy, the eggplants. Huh? I... The primitives love them, and you're pretty much a caveman. Hmm. Hey, they're pretty good. What did I tell you, man? They look just like that purple abomination, the eggplant, but they taste just awesome, like apple pie and caramel corn. Are you sure we're eating the same thing? Bob. Eric! Huh? Oh, good morning, Captain. Have either of you seen John? 
No, we haven't. Why? Did something happen? John is missing, and he took my dino watch with him. What? Man. Things are much improved, Vlad. Thanks to the sacred source of Kolgoth, my mind is no longer touched. My lord, you should let me investigate the causes of these disorders. My rivals must never learn this. You found a traitor among us, my lord. I will explain all in time. Know this, you are the only one that I trust. Report. My lord and master, General Arctic and General Petrus have both recently arrived. Well, bring them before me right now. And so, the dragons have a new lord. His name was Treek when he was a general, but he looks different now and calls himself Dracomon. So he looks different than he did before. Vlad, he also looks different. General Arctic, General Petrus, welcome, rise. Both of you, report on your mission. We bring glad tidings, mighty Dracomon. We've found them. Then, the kingdom's strongest dragons are here. They are indeed here, my lord. Ready to serve. And to start, the most ruthless of all, spider Yong. Yes. Immersion in the sacred lava has made him stronger. <sighs> Excellent! Now the Dino Froze shall face a true champion! Then, the Dino Froze have returned? They may be back, but not for long. This lava shall turn my warriors into gods, immortals! The Dino Froze will be swept away like so much dust! They're not that good, Bob. Um, dude, they're amazing. I think I'm in love. Yeah, I might ask this stuff to marry me. Melston, do you have any idea how the dragons change their appearance? I do not know, but there is one thing of which I am certain. It is more than their appearance that has changed. The dragons are stronger than they've ever been. Much stronger. We have arrived. Where's John? Shh! Quiet, monster head. Care to explain why the heck you ran off? With my watch? Come on, I'll show you. Huh? It went that way. Wait, somebody took the watch? Then disappeared in the bushes or something? That's right, Headzilla. I tried to chase him, but the little dude was fast. What kind of little dude? Like a little dinosaur. We're supposed huh. to just take your word for it, right? Uh, for what possible reason would I make this up, Monster Head? Uh, I don't understand why you do what you do, Captain Headphones. Unless you want the Dino Watch for yourself. Huh? Come on, I wouldn't do that. You were really mad, weren't you, to lose your spin rock? All right. If it was me who took the Dino Watch, why did I have Melston bring you here? If you guys are finished, how about doing something worth the effort? Like finding... Huh? Uh. Your missing oh. thing. Huh? Mm. I'm waiting for a big-headed apology. But you could have just ditched it there when you heard us coming. Huh? Hmm. Huh? Check out the Dino Watch. The scanner's detecting a lot of metal nearby. Um, we're in the middle of an ancient forest. Well, whatever it is, it's somewhere in that direction. Huh. The plot thickens. Doesn't it always? Oh! oh. <laughs> What's a bunker doing in a prehistoric jungle? Huh? Oh. This is impossible, right? The door's locked. Ah! Hey, look up there! There's an opening! That is a long way up. Huh? Huh? Kira, what's wrong? What's happening? Dragons have been sighted. We're preparing in case they attack us. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. 
Let us help. Do you know where Tom and the other boys went? Kara knows not, but we must hurry. <laughs> John? <laughs> hey, I got this. Uh, oh, but that branch hasn't got you. Oh. Huh? John, come down. We'll find another uh, way. Uh, 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 Your friend is very brave and very dumb. I've been saying that for Enough, years. Enough, Bob. John came through for us. Whatever. John, are you there? You guys will not believe what is in here. Come on, just tell us. Huh? That is Whoa. definitely a backing up noise. <laughs> oh, wow. A maze awesome. Hey, guys, look what I found. Well, I'm no longer the biggest thing in the neighborhood, that's for sure. Whoa. Whoa. Spectacular! Huh. You talking about the ride, or you talking about the driver? You are the man! You're most welcome, everybody. Now, who wants to climb inside and take this monster for a spin? Hey, how is this fair? I want to ride too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. This beast is wild. Totally. I had no idea they had this kind of stuff two million years ago. Hey, that's the instruction manual. <gasps> Endowment Jurassic truck. Maybe it says where this thing came from. Uh, uh oh. Dragons, guys! Huh? Huh? More than one? Well, hope they like our new uh, dino truck. Huh? They're headed to the village. Huh? Get us there fast. Hmm. Huh? Hold huh? on. Huh? This huh? might get wild. They're coming! Let him have it! our lasers to stun them. Your turn. <laughs> Laser stunning. <laughs> oh yeah, sweet dreams, lizard. Hurt. John.
on, try and get the truck between Kara and the dragon. I got a plan. What do you got in mind? Just get in there. Huh? Uh, are you sure about this? Eric, just lower me far enough that I can grab a hold of Kara. Hurry! Mission accomplished! Kara, hey, are you alright? Kara must have taken a poorly chosen oh. step. Looks like the lizards have had enough. Amazing. Just amazing. Rewind, bird. Those children held off three dragons. And on top of that, aren't they adorable? Where'd they find that tank thing? Ah, but the real question isn't where, rather it is how. But where did you get it? Here's the truth. The Dino Watch led us. Well, I think it was kind of destined. I actually think that John's right. Hmm. All right, hand them over. What over? The keys, John. How come? Like it or not, that thing stays put until we understand where it came from and how it ended up here huh? in the world past. <sighs> Thank you, John. And now it's time to help our hosts. Come with me. I don't like it when your dad acts like a dad. I was hoping to put the Dino Froze matter to rest soon. But, once again, we find our opponent infuriatingly resourceful! I was assured that these were the very best of our fighters, my lord! No one could have foreseen. Well, now we've all seen. So let's do something about it. Prepare Spider Yard! And let the Dino Froze learn who rules this land. What are your orders, Dracomon? Does it still hurt? Kara feels better. Thank you. I wanted to say. When you're done uh, playing doctor, the rest of us could really use a hand over here. Huh? Kara is well. Go help them. Really? Mm-hmm. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll let you have your choice between coal, poles, and mulch. Or, <laughs> maybe you should find out why the Dino Watch is flashing. Hey, fellas, I think the Dino Watch is flashing. Huh, has it ever flashed red before? I'm not certain, but the color red often indicates remarkably on good stuff. <laughs> Tremble, Dino Froze, before the face of he who will destroy you! <laughs> <laughs> uh, John, what are we going to do? We'll take the beast! But you gave the keys to Professor Carter! I did give him the keys. Huh? To my bike lock. <laughs> <sighs> uh -huh. The Dino Watch says that direction. 
All right. Let's go find out what it is. If it's a new dragon attack, then what? We don't have our spin rocks! Bob's right, but maybe the Dino Watch, at least in my case, was meant to replace my spin rock. Maybe it can transform me into Dinofros. Something is definitely out there. Ugh. It's mowing down trees like grass. So what's the Dino Watch doing now? It's showing me a dragon I've never seen. Is that writing like a description? Name. Spideron. The species is Dragon Mutant. And size, over 10 meters. Actually, 12.30 meters with mutant wings that can produce spider webs. Can it spit fire like the others? Can launch flaming cobwebs from its mouth. And Spideron also has the power to create inescapable, long-burning incendiary cocoons. And just for fun, its bite is lethal. Huh? Huh? Cabbage. Well, now we drive in the beast and don't become one. Slow down. I'm getting out. What? Uh, what? Have you lost your marbles? I'll distract Spider on. Huh? <laughs> what does Tom think he can accomplish out there besides, you know, getting killed? He'll try to stop that trek! Dino Watch! Dinofro's Evolution! Uh, uh. Huh? Uh. Look! Tom did it! He's turning! Oh, yeah. he's turning with the Dino uh. Watch! What's all that metal on his back? You could go ask him. Don't you think it's time we got moving? I actually agree. Well, let's go. <laughs> I must be careful not to be trapped by its wing things. <laughs> The king of dinosaurs just got his backside whooped. The stuff will be great for Halloween. I'll go as a mummy. You won't be joking for long. Huh? Come on, Tom, let's go! Huh? You should probably hold on to something. I love driving. Bunch it! Thanks for breaking my fall. <laughs> Thanks for breaking my old body. Huh? huh? Well, hello there. Welcome to the party. John, find a way to save him. Don't touch my friends! Why? Are you afraid they'll like me more? That was great, John! Special power! Force triple! Ah, I'm gonna teach you a lesson in manners! I've got to lead him away from Eric and Bob. And don't try to tell me that wasn't fun. I'll show you. Now this is fun. Pain 
is nothing uh, compared to what my bites go uh, uh, Leave him alone! If you want to say goodbye, you'd better do it now! I'm not going anywhere, spider yard I love that my name will be your last word! Uh, 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 now! And for my last trick, Wind Ocean! Something tells me that's the last we'll see of spider yawn didn't I tell you to stay out of the truck and help the villagers? Huh? You're absolutely right, Dad. I apologize. I'm the one who should apologize to you boys for keeping you from being yourselves. You four are the dino froze, the only ones hmm. able to fight the huh? dragon. <laughs> Ironically, you guys are the heroes of this entire village. <laughs> 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 John, I haven't thanked you yet for what you did with the Jurassic truck. It was my pleasure, Captain. But I think today was just the beginning. Right. <laughs> These are the new adventures of Team Dynafros. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This cold golf lava has done wonders for your complexion, Vlad. You don't look a day over 600. You're looking downright supple yourself. <laughs> Yet you're as wrinkly as ever, Petrus. Perhaps you should try the extra strength, sacred lava. <laughs> it's funny because yes, it's true. You're very funny, Vlad. <clears throat> and I'm very strong. I wonder which of us will have the last laugh. Tell us, Vlad. Is it true that Dracomon learned of this magical place? through the visions of an oracle. That is what Dracomon says. He does hold the oracle in high esteem. Its name is Pyros, and it is possessed of legendary wisdom. A battle, Dracomon, not the war. I understand, Pyros, but the Dinofrus have proven they are I mighty. I showed you the power of Kolgoth. You were but a disgraced champion, yet I foresaw you would lead the Sons of Dragons. And here you are, the powerful Dracomon. Never forget that. I remember, but how much longer until the Earth will be ours? The Omens have never been as favorable as they are at this moment. Fess up, Hensilla. Already told you, I've got nothing to uh, confess! Do the math. Missing food plus Bob equals Bob ate the food. Guys, that's enough. Come on, both of you, <sighs> stop. I'll stop when he apologizes for tarnishing my reputation, you besmircher. You've got to be kidding me. Everybody in this village knows you eat like 17 meals a day, and you've been rocking <sighs> some weird purple fruit obsession. Well, that's fair, but that doesn't mean that I'm a thief. Hey guys, huh? what's going on? Apparently somebody keeps stealing fruit from the supply hut, and we're trying to figure out what's up with that. Well, now that our captain's here, I'm sure he'll clear up this in no time at all. John, wait. I've got something that I'd like to show to all of you guys. Okay, it's a letter. So, who's it from? This paper just fell out of my dad's notebook. So then shouldn't you just give it back to him? Yeah, well that was the plan until I realized who had written it. Professor Warnell. Warnell? Warnell? That snake Warnell actually had the gall to contact your father again? Well, it's not exactly like we left him on friendly terms. So what did Warnell write to your father? Well, he starts out by apologizing to my father. 
He said he only did what he did because he hadn't heard from Dad. And he was just worried about him. Tom, it's the Dino Watch. Odd, the signal's coming from the inside of the Jurassic truck. Well, let's go. Huh? Huh? <laughs> huh. Huh. Look, I swear, I'm not the one who stole your fruit. Uh, uh, uh. Well, the truck's computer and the Dino Watch are communicating. Like that Bluetooth stuff? Sorta. I could tell you for sure if I knew the truck's password. Hey, does anybody else wonder what all these test tubes are for? What's the password? Darn it! Something with Jurassic or dinosaur in it? Huh? Hmm. Access granted. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was pretty much Mondo majorly impressive. World-class hackers aren't even that fast. All right, you gotta tell us how you did it. I remembered something a crazy man said to me. Jurassic Eye. Huh? That's it? It's vital that you don't forget huh? Jurassic Eye. The dragons are near. It won't be long now. Huh? I have only one trunk. Do you know where Tom and his friends are? I saw them trot out of the village toward that thing they call Jurassic Truck. Yeah, human boys can be weird about their first car. What do you think you're doing? Kara wants to help defend the village from the dragons. And Kara will, once her injuries have healed. But I... Back to your huh? cabin, right now. Well, it turns out you're a pretty good father. Who knew? Hmm. I suppose we have become something of a family. <laughs> oh. Oh. Looks like our play date's starting. What do we got? Do you really have to ask? Huh? Mm. Catapults, and go! All right, I'm in place, guys. John, get moving! They're flanking us! John, now get us into position. Hey, Bob, it's almost laser stunning time. Ha! You have no idea how ready I am. Fire the water cannon! I'm on it. Fire Melston! Water. Huh? Target lined up at two o'clock. Okay, Bob. Now! Laser stunning time! <laughs> Yahoo! We're winning one nothing.
Sorry about that. You're too slow, dragons. Huh? John, we've got to lead the dragons away from the village. Alrighty. I'm pretty sure I can handle that one. All right, boys. They made the dragons follow them. John, now! So glad you guys are all right. That was some excellent work. I'm very proud of you boys. You've turned into an impressive team. Yeah, thanks and everything, but where do you hear what we just learned? I'm all ears. What? You're not gonna believe where the Jurassic truck came from. Although it may seem absurd, yes. So the Double Delta Division knew all along where this vehicle was hidden? The tragic outcome of Mission Jurassic Eye has been classified, but I guess we know now, don't we? Should we attempt to regain possession of the vehicle, sir? Why take the risk, when we can watch them do the work for us? How lucky you are. For one day, Project Jurassic Eye will be remembered as the first step of the DDD's great work. So this vehicle belongs to the Double Delta Division? Yeah, specifically for use on something called Jurassic Eye. The goal of this mission was to study live prehistoric animals. The Jurassic truck is equipped for this purpose. I remember hearing rumors about this years ago, but I thought it was a load of nonsense. Yeah, but the kind of nonsense that actually happened. They teleported the truck back here somehow. The next step was to create a real portal. A time accelerator gate which would be a channel of communication between the past and the present. What happened next? Some special agents were sent on a mission into the past. When they attempted to return from the second trip, for some reason the time gate destabilized. The agents were trapped in the past. <laughs> It was only recently that we were able to reopen the portal, of course with greatly upgraded safety protocols. You dropped this this morning, Dad. Huh? 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 I always worried that Warnell was working for the Double Delta Division. It's really disappointing when you're betrayed by somebody you thought was your friend. Or somebody in your family. I don't like being reminded how it felt when I found out my father worked for the Double Delta Division. Wait, you mean Grandpa Gabriel worked for the Double Delta Division? Yes, son. Surprising, huh? So that's the reason that you don't like talking about him, isn't yes, it? Yes, but we have more important things to worry about. Just think about the past. Mm-hmm. We must help our friends rebuild what the dragons have destroyed. You let the Dino Froze get the better of us again? You swore you had selected your best warriors! They are the best! Why, we even trained them personally! Then perhaps I should send you to face the Dino Froze personally. I assure you, Lord, the dragon we present today shall not fail. His name is Spectral. He has terrorized the Northern Mountains for 10,000 years. He will please you. The Dino Froze are going to have a very bad day. And if they do not, the three of you certainly will. Brandy Bugler. What'd they say? They're still sure that the fruit was stolen by the one with the giant head, for they have seen him eat. Well, they've got you there. So, Bob, still sticking to your story? I am. I am not a thief. Kara, please tell your friends that none of us stole the fruit. Huh? Dinosaurs stealing fruit! We're not falling for that. 
I'm not lying! The crook's a tiny dinosaur! Well, I think that the missing fruit was abducted by aliens. Where did Giant Head see the dinosaur? It was just over there. It took behind that hut. Let's go take a look, guys. Look, the dinosaur dropped what's left of some of the fruit it that stole. Could be anyone's. I'm not so sure. Guys, we've got a problem. Oh, good, it's red, which means the problem's enormous. Yeah. Time to bring the pain. Dino Froze, I'm so glad that I finally get to meet you and kill you. The Dino Watch says we should be heading eastward. We're heading for the canyon. Yeah, I love giant holes in the ground. Hey, is this some kind of missile out there? Huh? Tom, check the Dino Watch. Huh? huh? John, be careful. Things are about to get bad. Huh? That thing's not a dragon, it's a war machine! Right, the dragon's name is Spectral, Dragon Mutant class. It weighs over two tons, and it's 14 meters tall. And it says it can wrap its wings around its body like a kind of cape. What, does it want to be a huh? superhero? No, it wants to be invisible. It shoots disappearing, reappearing right, fireballs. Let's get this party started! Okay, Tom, you better get out there. Go Dino Watch! Dino Bros Evolution! Smilodon. But that's impossible, isn't it? Remember that the Dino Watch absorbed all of our spin rocks? It must let Tom choose what to become. I have to fight Spectral up close so he can't do his disappearing trick. Are we having fun yet? I don't do banter. Look, he's using his stealth wings. That doesn't seem fair. Come and get some, dragon. <sighs> hey, where did you go? I'm right here, pussycat. <sighs> Show yourself, coward. <sighs> Why, aren't you having fun? Oh, yeah. Good times. <sighs> and for my next trick, let's see if prehistoric kitty cats can fly. All right, I just need to aim at the space under Tom. Laser stunning time! Yeah! Way to go, yes. Big John! Now we know that its butt is kickable. Uh, 
I think it's about time somebody clipped your wings, lizard. You have no idea who you're dealing with. Witness my true power! Dragon's got game! More than a little disappointed to learn you don't live up to your reputation. Huh? Come on, Tom. It's time to show this gas bag who the Dinofros really are. You may be a big shot on that mountain you're from, but here in the real world, you're nothing. Well, we'll just have to see about that. Yes. I'm going to send you back to your mountain in a bunch of little bags. Welcome to try, Dino Froze. Special power attack, lacerating claws. Oh yeah, we, we did. got him. One more dragon down, literally in this case. This was a great victory for all of us. Nice work, John. I'm really hungry. Well, it appears the Jurassic truck took a little bit of damage. Oh, cheer up, Eric. I'm sure you'll have it fixed in no time. How about having some fruit, too? Yeah, why not warm apple pie? <laughs> Shh. And ice cream? Quiet. I think I heard something back here. It's the huh? fruit thief. I'll go to the left, you go to the right, and we'll trap him. First, let me close the door so we can trap him. I'll lift the basket and you pounce. All right. One, two, three, lift! Huh? <gasps> Got Dude! it! Whoa, Dinofroze Jr. We finally abducted the village fruit thief. Huh? Is that really oh. him? Whoa, that Whoa. thing stole the dino watch. This, my friends, is a species of small herbivore called Pegomastax. Who's a good dinosaur, hmm? You are. Yes, you are. Well, we finally got ourselves a mascot. I hope you like your new home, buddy. How's Tusk for a name? Come here, Tusk. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> wow, it obeyed you. Hey there, Tusk. Come to Uncle John. <laughs> hmm? Well, it's friendly. He doesn't seem to ever stop playing around. Yeah, he never slows down at all. Tusk is a party machine. It must be taught discipline. We'd see one pipe down. Are you his mommy now? I've heard this species is quite tasty. Melston. Oh, I'm joking. Mostly. Hey guys, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get an early start tomorrow. Dad, what's up? Good news, Tom. I might have found a way to finally track down Stroker and his people. Hey! 
Hey, <laughs> feels like the J-Truck's running better. Well, take good care of your Weird Ancient Spy Tank, and Weird Ancient Spy Tank takes care of you. Some of the villagers swear they saw other people with clothes like ours. Where'd they spot them? I'm pretty sure it's somewhere to the south. Close to a mountain. Or by the mouth of a fountain. There were definite translation issues. Well, not anymore. What's that? Phoneme phone. It translates stuff. Where did it come from? It was on the Jurassic Truck's standard equipment manifest. It's supposed to work with any language. Sounds great. I can't wait to study it. This thing could be quite helpful. Well, I don't think it's going to help with this. We've got incoming dragons! Uh, he's right, they're approaching us from the southwest! What are we looking at? Four, flying in formation. That's not all. They've all got humans with them. Look at that! Huh. Huh. There they are, Headzilla. The question is, have they spotted us? Uh, 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 get to work! Uh, you have the cannon! John, watch out, man! They're all around us! They're all in front of us. Is that better? All right now, John, what are you thinking? I'm thinking we better hit these guys from every angle we can manage. Bob, stand by for laser stunning. Laser stunning! You read me, Professor? Huh? Loud and clear, Eric. I'll try to help the wounded natives. Good luck trying to hold off those dragons. Roger that. Professor is clear. Ah, you silly dragons, we're not just hamburgers. All right, Headzilla, I'll try to line up a shot for you, buddy. Nice, got two in my sights. Take the shot. Just shoot him! Laser stunning now! All right, Headzilla! Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, all right, Bob! <laughs> now that was some inspirational maneuvering, John! Thanks, and now we'll lead them away. We're fine. Turns out none of the injuries were serious. All right, we'll pick you up later. Ah. First, we'll handle these dragons. Generals Petrus and Arctic are on a mission, which means that in this case, it falls to you to deal with Dino Froze. It will be my honor, Lord. I want the Dino Froze before me in chains. Then I want them to watch their world burn, then burn themselves. I have a new enhanced dragon. Its name is Hammerhead. Or should I say, their name is Hammerhead. <laughs> Your time in the fires of Galgoth has ended. Do you feel ready? Well, I could use a bit more time. Did you not hear? It's time. 
to fight. Go, Tusk! All right, Tusky, just bring it back now. I'll give you this, Bob. He's got your brains. I bet I can train him. I'll bet that you can't. And whoever loses has to give him a bath. Guys, we're on. Yeah. Dino watch time. Huh? Looks bad. We'd better get back to the office. Stop setting fire to everything we pass. Be quiet. We're a dragon. Head northeast, John. Right. The desert's that way. Well, desert driving is always fun. I think that's oh. our guy. Well, it doesn't exactly look smart. Dino Watch, uh. alarm! Huh? Oh, fish huh? heads! Uh. Oh. Uh. oh, man! Did he just spit meteorites? Name, huh? Hammerhead. Species, Dragon Mutant, 15 meters tall. Not only that, it has two carved heads, and each one has a different personality. Seismic attacks by throwing boulders. And of course, fire breathing. Its special attack is not just throwing boulders, but throwing flaming boulders. It shoots meteorites. Which dino froze should I use for this? So, Captain, what's the plan gonna be? I plan to give these two guys the right welcome. Come on out, uh. Dino Froze. Waiting makes me mad. Ah. Uh, hmm. I hope Tom makes the right decision. Dino Froze Evolution! Nice! Gorilla! I bet he's been dying to try this one. <laughs> it's just awesome. You see him? Uh, no. Hello, boys. My name's Gorilla, and I'm looking forward to this. Uh, I don't know which one of your ugly faces I should hit first. That's putting your heads together. Nobody told me you guys were funny. He's the funny one. Uh, I'm okay. Hey, Tom Kong, you want some help with those fellas? I mean, two heads are better than one. if you can. <laughs> Do you really think a ditch is going to stop me? <laughs> Time for a hammer and blow. Stop that. How did it know monkeys could fly? <laughs> Hold on, Tom. Reinforcements have arrived. You like to jump? Jump. Oh, jump. Yeah. 
It's a hammerhead seismic attack. Uh, gotta love that anti-squat suspension. Uh, yeah. That is the dumbest looking attack ever. Can't beat us. Uh, then I'll just beat you. It doesn't work like that. Yeah. <laughs> They're strongest when they attack together. I've got to keep them apart. You're just not strong enough. Uh, that's half a dragon's opinion. You're a bone. You fool! You told him we were about to attack! Never call me a fool! I won't get good if you stop being one, huh? Wow, they're fighting each other. That'll really help, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Are they actually doing this now? <laughs> this is my chance. Not so fast! <laughs> your juggling act yet? I'm glad you're having a good time. I sure am. Well, not with him. You, on the other hand, are awesome. You got that oh. right. Huh. He's trying to play us off against each other. That doesn't mean he isn't right. Uh. Jealous much? You're so useless, Lefty. Uh. Take that back, uh. Wiggy. Uh. Come on, guys. You're both about to enjoy my devastation. Oh. Alright! Dino Frozilla! Alright! That is a force to be reckoned oh, with. My head hurts. Or does your head hurt? Oh, I can't tell. I hate you so much right now. This new Dino Froze, it sounds quite strong. It is most impressive, my lord. It will not be easily beaten. Dino Froze! Dino Froze! Four best friends sent into the ancient past. Their Dino Watch will set off a mystic ice blast. The superheroes are ready for battle Using the special powers together Dino Frost Driven to win one for all and all for one Dino Frost Nothing can stop them, not even Drake, come on Dino Frost Fighting together to save the whole planet Superheroes are ready for the fight United they stand together, dynamite Nothing will ever stop them, they're the dynamite